Was there earlier trauma too, even in high school, that was related to this type of thing? So what happened to you in high school? Um, well, I was, I was a freshman and um, I was drugged and taken to a house and... You were raped again? Well, before, when I was 14. That was the first time? Wow. How old were you then? I was 14. Oh, my gosh. Michelle, you work in the criminal justice system, so have you done anything or taken any action? Because you know that one of the ways that, that victims of sexual assault start to heal and bring closure is by holding their perpetrator accountable. accountable. Yes, yeah. yes ma'am. Holding them and, accountable. And I, I begged her. Mm. I even know who the guy is. Oh, I found oh out who was. Oh, my God. From so what terrible. she told me, but... I know she has to want to go yeah. forward. Yeah. And I, I her begged choice. her to let's go forward. It does not matter. She said, Mom, he told me if I told, he would kill you, and yeah. I can't have anyone hurting you. But I told wow. her it doesn't matter about me. Yeah. It matters what has happened to you. Yeah. Let's well, go forward. Yes, you are doing all of the right things yes. by telling her that it's not about you, but I, I find it really sad that both of your perpetrators basically threatened the well-being of you and the people that you love as a way to get you to keep quiet. And mom, you noticed that a lot of behaviors were changing around that time, yes, right? So what did I you did. notice about her? She withdrew, she started skipping class. She was at a performing arts school at the time and she wasn't being where she was supposed to be. I mean, I, I saw my daughter change right, right before right, my right. eyes, and all I could do was, that's when I started to try to find help for her. Good, mm -hmm. good for And at the time, trying to find a, a, a therapist that was taking patients, I, I worked at the state. I was in the system, okay. so I knew how to go about right, it. Right. I finally found a doctor for her to see, mm. um, a psychologist. Right. Mm -hmm. Then the psychologist referred us to a neuropsych doctor mm -hmm. for her to have the testing. So, and then the therapy. Chelsea, can you tell us what the doctors told you? They diagnosed me with um, ADHD and bipolar. With bipolar disorder? Ch Chelsea, did you share the sexual assault with the doctor, did you tell them what had happened to you in high school? I didn't because I knew the information would be sent to my mom. I didn't work that out with a the therapist until I was 18. One of the other diagnoses that I think you have now is PTSD. And people dissociate mm -hmm. from the things that have happened to them to try to rebuild their identity, but it comes back to haunt them. Uh, Do you ever find that you're kind of just almost dissociated from what's going on, like you don't really feel like you're there, like things aren't really real. Has that ever happened to you? It did, it just now, I'm just now getting better okay. with that. Um, Chelsea, and what she doesn't know is that the go-go dancing has something to do with it. I was, a performing, I was in performing arts all through high school and mm -hmm. until I was little, like about 18, 17, mm -hmm. and I stopped doing that and I, realize that what I love and what makes me feel good is mm. performing. Right. right. Being in front of a crowd of people doing what I love to do makes me feel so good about myself. Mm. Right. So when I got into the go-go dancing, I got that feeling again. Mm. It wasn't about the outfits. I wasn't trying to like look sexy for guys or anything. Mm. I, f I felt what I felt on stage when I was performing. You love to dance. Mm.